Good morning everyone, it's Patrick again. I am out at my lipstick permission. Again, I found it right about over there. Today, we've got a guest joining us. It's gonna be my friend Melinda, so I've got the MXT set up for her, and I'll be using the V3i as always. This will be her first hunt. So, as soon as she gets here, we'll go through a little bit of training time. We'll get her out there in that field, and hopefully, She'll find something good that'll get her hooked on the hobby. Wish us luck. Kind of training here. Uh, just showing her how to swing the machine and how to do some pinpointing. She's out there now practicing. Once she gets a little bit more comfortable with it, we're going to get out there and hit this thing hard. <laughs> Wish us luck. God bless. All right, I just got a holler from my friend. She thinks she found something good. Let's go check it out. All right, hold out your hand. Let me see that. Oh, that's beautiful. This is some kind of container. Uh, it's empty. Not sure what it was for. It doesn't feel like there's anything in it, but an absolutely wonderful find. We'll check that out more later in the wrap up. Great job, Melinda. <laughs> All right. Next find for my friend here, it's a classic pull tab. <laughs> that metal detecting cherry is broken, people. She's going to be hooked now. <laughs> and there she blows in all her glory. A property marker. Cool. <laughs> we'll leave that one behind. As always, getting lots of trash. Just went down about four or five inches for a pull tab. But you know, you got to dig everything to get to the good stuff. All right, all right, persistence pays off, man. I got me a 50s signal that was banging really strong, but I couldn't detect it on the surface with my pinpointer. Now, as you can see, my pinpointer is under the ground level now, so this sucker was deep. But staying persistent and going for it, look at that beauty right there. Look at that, she is gorgeous. You can see I hit it a couple of times with my shovel trying to get it out of there. But a uh, absolutely wonderful thing to find. I told you this site was going to have some great stuff. On we go. <laughs> All right, this is what she's gotten so far today. Of course, your typical amount of stuff. The battery is really nice. I always like getting those because they put out a cool signal. Her coolest find so far has got to be this container. I don't know if it opens, if we can figure out what it was. Again, if anybody's got any clues, please let us know, but we are having a great hunt out here. All right, I've dug a little trash since I got that spoon. I'm coming along here. Got a 57 was pretty deep. Pulled the penny. It's not a weedy, but it figures the first coin of the day is always a penny for me now, isn't it? <laughs> Gotta love that. Out there still plugging away at it, getting used to the machine. Glad she found something good on her first outing. Hopefully she finds some more. All right. Learning the technique. Hopefully loving the hobby. All right. Well, my friend had to take off. She's got work to do and stuff. So I decided to head on out of there myself. And I'm down here at Alpha Park. <laughs> That's what I call it. Uh, the place where it all started for me. Where I did my first metal detecting. Found my first jewelry. Place has always been good to me. So... Let's see what happens today. Alrighty, <laughs> way to go. Second penny of the day, first penny in the park. It started. Keep those pennies coming. Yeah, baby. Now this one's in really good shape. Awesome. Alrighty, friends and family and fans. It is uh, time for the roundup. Absolute huge amount of trash today. That's to be expected in an old site though. Uh, this thing from the second site I hit, I thought was a, a part of a toy, but it's not. I found this furniture tack at the first site. It was about nine inches down. So it was a fun dig for me. I ended up with 14 cents altogether. Most of that came from the second site. I think I found three pennies when I was at the uh, first location. 
Now, Melinda, who was with me, she had a couple of neat finds. She got the battery, some funky little pieces of metal, but she pulled out this bad boy here. And it seems to have a seam that's been brazed shut, and I couldn't figure out what it was. I started looking online, and as I cleaned it up, I noticed this spot here, where like some shank would have come. And this being so lightweight and hollow, it turns out, from what I can find out online, this is a float ball for a valve. So either the fluid level would drop down and the valve would turn on, or it would fluid level would raise up and it would shut the valve off you know kind of like it works in the back of your toilet although I highly doubt this was from a toilet um, but you never know either way great find for her first hunt out there I think she had an awesome time and hopefully she'll want to come out and do some more hunting and uh, pick up the the sport with us the spoon I got was awesome uh, this was at least a foot down because it took up the full length of my pinpointer to get to it and it says Quaker Valley Manufacturing Company on the back. So I looked them up and started looking through different patterns and found a very similar pattern to this on a sugar spoon that they had. And that was from the uh, mid-1900s, so we're looking at like 1940s, 1950 area for that. But a great day hunting. Uh, glad I was able to get out. hope you're able to get out too and find some good stuff. I'm going to leave you with some stills, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks.